Well, every year, almost $8 billion in Canadian tax revenue is lost because of money stashed offshore. And for months, the government has pledged to get tough on those who do the stashing to avoid paying Canadian taxes. Now, CBC News has learned that the chair of the Canadian Mint, a man with close ties to a top cabinet minister, is himself accused of helping Canadians steer money away from the tax man. The CBC's Susan Bonner has the details. James Love could be Canada's version of financial royalty, chair of the Canadian Mint. A tax expert appointed by finance minister and close friend Jim Flaherty to advise the government. Can you confirm whether his personal and political connections have Minister to do fiercely with defended Love against patronage allegations, calling him a greatly respected Canadian. Mr. Love is one of Canada's leading tax experts. He knows a lot more about tax than you could ever hope to know. But while Flaherty was lauding him, Love's tax expertise was under scrutiny in a $15 million lawsuit uncovered by CBC News. The Right Honourable Arthur Meehan. Family members of former Prime Minister Arthur Meehan accused Love of, among other things, engineering a complicated scheme that, quote, unlawfully, negligently and in breach of trust, sent $8 million of Meehan trust money offshore to avoid taxes. But Arthur Meehan is not a forgotten figure. Former Senator well, Michael Meehan, grandson of the former PM, signed off on the original plan. Jim Love uh, made a proposal uh, in the context of uh, the planning of the estate uh, to place certain assets offshore um, as a matter of tax planning. Or, as others viewed it at the time, a, quote, tax avoidance scheme, a scheme that family members later said might leave them liable for unpaid taxes and fines with the Canada Revenue Agency. Both James Love refused to be interviewed on camera and denies any wrongdoing. There are two reputations. Michael Wills, a Bay Street investment advisor, says Love was known to have a formula for saving wealthy investors tax money. Mr. Love was known to have the black box for, uh, for successfully setting up offshore vehicles. Wills had clients who dealt with Love and questions whether the CRA would ultimately approve of Love's offshore arrangement. The black box formula, I believe, is flawed. How? It's flawed. Indeed, court documents reveal Love acknowledged the risks of moving money offshore, quote, because of strict rules to prevent transfers of assets from Canada to avoid taxation. But he also suggested he knew how to get around that, but that the plan would be difficult and complex. And that, the lawsuit alleges, is how millions of million dollars began moving around through numbered and nicknamed companies in Canada, Barbados, Antigua and elsewhere. I mean, they had names for all kinds of things, for companies and for uh, this and that. I, I, I didn't know what it was. International tax specialist André Larose says Canada Revenue should investigate. If I were the agency, I would like to have a look at that and to an analyze all the transactions that were carried on here. The millionaires settled their lawsuit with Love and his co-defendants for almost $9 million. The family got money and Love is no longer involved in their financial affairs. But the larger questions about the offshore plan and the well-connected man accused of designing it remain untested and unsettled. Susan Bonner, CBC News, Toronto. CBC News has been reporting about offshore tax havens for months. And if you have a tip you think we should investigate, send it to us at investigations at cbc.ca.